So this question starts off by providing us with an XY table. We have these ordered pairs here, 1, comma, negative 64, right? In other words, when x is equal to 1, f of x is equal to negative 64. We also have 2, comma, 0, and we have 3, comma, negative 64. The question goes on to say for the linear function f, the table shows three values of x and their corresponding values of f of x. Function f is defined by f of x equals ax plus b. I'm going to write that down, f of x equals ax plus b. This looks a lot like y equals mx plus b. In fact, it's exactly the same in terms of format and structure. So that means a and m are the same, so a must be our slope. And b is our y-intercept, as usual. All right, so where a and b are constants, what is the value of a minus b? So what are we really finding? We're finding this slope minus the y-intercept. That's what we're looking for. So let's, find, let's start off by finding the slope. So how can I find the slope? Well, the slope is simply the difference in y values over the difference in x values. Another way to think of that is the change in y over the change in x. So I can just use two points here. I'm going to start, I'm going to use the first two. So my x1 and we'll call that y1 and x2 and y2. So I would have 0 minus negative 64 from my numerator, and 2 minus 1 in my denominator. So I'd have 0 negative time negative is positive, so I'd have 64 here over 1. So my slope is 64, which means A is equal to 64. Okay. Now B, my y-intercept, that's actually already been provided. That's this point here, right? When, when um, no, that's actually my x-intercept. So my y-intercept, the B value... I can find by going back to my equation, f of x equals ax plus b, and I'm going to replace it with some point with an ordered pair. So this is negative 64 for that first ordered pair equals a, which I now know is 64, times x, which is 1, and then plus b. So negative 64 equals 64 plus b. And, of course, I'd subtract 64 from both sides to isolate B, and I'd have negative 128 equals B. So there's my y-intercept. So B is negative 128. A is 64. The question's asking for A minus B, so it would be 64 minus negative 128, which is the same as 64 plus 128, which is equal to 192. Therefore, choice D is the correct answer.